Okay. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to MK Tech. Uh, thank you for joining and watching. Be sure to like and to subscribe if you haven't. And today's show, <laughs> or today's vlog, uh, I have a special guest. Her name is Anita. Anita, say hello. 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 Good morning. All right. So uh, we're gonna do things a little differently this morning. Usually I have Lena. Uh, today I got Anita. So why do I have Anita here today? Because she actually came back from what country was it again? Belize. <laughs> Belize in Central America. I, I actually knew that. I just wanted to her to say it. And uh, she's gonna tell us a little bit about uh, her visit there and uh, what she was doing there. And she's gonna tell us a little bit about herself and her profession that she's actually getting into, right? Yeah. All right, excellent. Yeah. All right, well, before we get into that, uh, let's go over about what happened last week on the channel. Uh, by the way, thank you for subscribing, the ones that have subscribed. Uh, I did go up uh, a lot in my subscribers and my views, so thank you very much, everyone. Uh, I did produce a video every day of the week, and I do have a schedule that I will be releasing more likely next Monday. I just want to make sure that I can completely finalize it and keep up with it so that way I won't be bluffing. Does that make sense? <laughs> all right. Anyway, Anita, let's get to you. Okay. So, first of all, tell us about yourself right now. You were living in Asheville, right? Let me see if I'm in the camera. You yeah. were living in Asheville, but yeah. for the past couple of years you were living out where again? In Indiana. What, what city? Uh, Marion, Indiana. <laughs> Marion, Indiana? Yeah. It wasn't Gary, Indiana, or Michael Jackson. No, was that, not yeah. Gary. That's <laughs> like the ghetto hood, huh? Yeah. It is. <laughs> I was oh. there only once, but I heard it wasn't too too good. Well, well, first of all, uh, have you have you watched my uh, my channel, or have you even subscribed? I've to seen each some of your videos. Seen some so, of my videos. Yeah. That's cool. What do What do you think about me doing YouTube? First of all. Well. It's definitely something new, and I think that you are a very um, social person, so I mean, it kind of matches you. It should so, it should work out eventually, yeah, right? Like <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm just trying to get yeah. into the page. Yeah, I think it. Yeah, you, know, do you, think, you think you think I'll break through the ice? You know, hopefully. Because it's very thick. <laughs> yeah, it's hard. You know? <laughs> it's not that easy to break through, but however, I've been producing and making videos. But anyway, so back to Indiana. Okay. So how long have you been there? Um, since about two years now. Two years, wow, yeah. time flew back. I, wow, I time flew fast. Yeah. So two years you were in Indiana. Yeah. Wow, <laughs> I can't even believe I it, know. that it's been that long. I did not want to go there, but I mean, now but, I'm so used to it. And what was, what was the purpose that you were there for? Uh, school. School? Yeah, graduate school. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> well, what was the degree you're going for? Um, I'm getting my doctorate in occupational therapy, so. Wow. Yeah. Wow, it's a big deal. Yeah. She's yeah, a big deal. <laughs> this is not, no, I'm not. Yeah. I'm just me. Yeah. <laughs> well, that, that's great. So, uh, so basically, are you close to finishing up or are you graduating yeah, well, this spring? Actually, um, I have field work this whole summer mm -hmm. for 12 weeks and then I have field work in the fall for 12 weeks mm -hmm. actually in Asheville and then I'm planning my residency which might be in Ukraine actually. <laughs> no way. Yeah. We have to go to Ukraine and do I a know. vlog. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that would be pretty cool. <laughs> Speaking of Ukraine, by the way, uh, I want to release, I've been thinking of releasing a, a video about Ukraine. Really? I, I was there last year, mm -hmm. so I did the whole tour of Kiev, which is kind of not the whole like official tour, but uh, I did have a tour guide, semi-tour guide, gave me, uh, like, you know, showed me the parts of uh, Kiev churches and views and stuff. But why I wanted to release this vlog, I was going to do a whole series on it. But my grandma died last year, November, oh, and that was sorry. the last time that I ever saw her. So I'm really thinking on Tuesday releasing a vlog of like a storytelling vlog. It's kind of cool. That's why. Oh, that would be yeah, cool. I was gonna actually thought about it this morning. You brought up Ukraine, so what? that just came out. <laughs> but anyway, let's get back to your story. So you might be based in Ukraine. Yeah, I that well, is cool. I might. Um, it's a. It's hopefully it works out. Mm -hmm. But so occupational therapy is not. Um, very prevalent in Ukraine right now and they need a lot of more therapy services, especially occupational therapy, so. Mm -hmm. what, where in Ukraine? What city? What part? Do you know? Yeah. Well, or... it would be mostly around universities since mm -hmm. that I would be having a contract with a, a university. Man, that is 
So, Maybe even Kiev, Lviv. Yeah, I think like Kiev, Odessa, and um, I'm not. I don't know what the other school was or what wow. the other city was. Yeah, so. Wow. Hopefully it works that out. Cool. That is exciting. Yeah. High five for that. Yeah. That's what's a good, great job. I'm happy for you. Thank you. All right. Well, that's cool. Uh, Ukrainians, uh, look out. Anita's coming your way. <laughs> Hopefully. Thumbs up. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, uh, tell us about your uh, trip. So you went to Central America, yes. Belize. Yes. I got it right. Yeah. <laughs> so what were you doing there? And how was it? And uh, tell us about the culture. Okay. So um, so this is a requirement for our school. Mm -hmm. It's like an intercultural experience. Mm -hmm. And so this trip was a week long. And we are supposed to go there and kind of observe and just look at what their healthcare system looks like and what kind of services they have, like healthcare services and what else? Um, just kind of see what's going on over there. Like so, living wise? Yeah, living wise. The just, culture, like yeah. uh, where, where they're yeah. at and what yeah. state yeah. environment they're in right now, yeah. which a lot of countries like, you know, what is it considered? Is it, I'm not is this sure. a second or a, third? I'm not second. I'm not, I'm not sure if it's a second or third, but well, is, it, is, it, is it pretty in poverty or I mean, well, it's, it's, um, there is a lot of poverty, but it's not like, it's not like Africa. Some of the countries that are uh, there because Africa is a rich yeah. country, but there's some country like Mozambique. Yeah. Like I've been there myself and that's, yeah. that's poverty. Yeah. You, you just, you literally eat bread and, and if you have a piece of bread and a soda for lunch, you're happy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And the cold, you know, cold so, water is something else. You can you find ice. Well, it wow. makes sense. It's Africa. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, got the topic a little bit. Okay. So, um, yeah, I, I'm I'm not sure what if it's a second or third, but it's definitely one of those. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be making the. Where did you end up staying there? Did you stay like we in... um, stayed at this place called um, I think it was World Global Outreach mm -hmm. WGO, and they had a guy that works for them that was like taking us around to like different health clinics mm -hmm. and. Um, Kind of giving us tours of the city and it was so cool because he was very during the whole trip mm -hmm. he was very like reflective mm -hmm. during and like and he would be like oh you know look at this and then kind of change our perspective and try to like make us think of things oh, in wow. a different way so that's kind of cool yeah so it was really cool i really enjoyed it <laughs> so you get to look at a different point of view yeah that yeah. makes sense that makes sense i feel yeah. like i'm sitting really low let me get a little higher <laughs> there you go <laughs> But uh, but anyway, uh, so uh, food wise, okay. What did you did you guys have? Do you have good food? Yeah, of course. Really? Um, wow. So the, there's a sh like a lady that works there and cooks food for us there mm -hmm. at the compound, mm -hmm. like the place we were staying. Mm -hmm. And so we'd have breakfast and lunch. And, and I'm pretty sure everybody spoke English there too. Yeah. 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 Well, actually, mostly. Central America. But um, yes. there's a lot of Spanish. Uh -huh. And Hispanic. Creole. What's what's that? Creole. It's um. It, it's a it's a language. Okay. <laughs> okay. First time I hear it, but it's cool. Yeah. That's cool. So there's a lot of Creole, <laughs> Spanish, but the actually the main language of Belize is English. Really? Like the yeah. Wow, that's cool. So. Yeah. yeah. But you got a lot of photos to share too. Oh yeah, I have mm -hmm. a lot. I actually have my camera over there and. Really? Yeah. Wow, man, maybe. Yeah. Wow, that's just like almost makes me want to grab a couple videos. I know. You know include it in here real quick, you I know? know? Yeah. That's cool. Uh, how was the weather? Was it, it super was hot? It was amazing. Oh my oh, goodness. It? it was so awesome. Like it was around like the mid 80s the mm -hmm. whole time. Mm -hmm. And well, when, I, when, when we left Indiana, it was. Um, Probably snowing, flying. Yeah, it was like snowing <laughs> and cold. And yeah, I was so happy <laughs> whenever we got to the really. Um, Warm, warmer weather. So. Because it's literally an equator. Yeah. It was yeah, the water yeah, super it's, blue. It's, well, it's almost, um, yeah, it was really oh, blue. In, wow. some, in some areas, it was really blue. And then, oh, we went snorkeling, so. No way, I want to yeah. go snorkeling so yeah. bad. Yeah. God. Yeah. So you actually went? Yeah. Your like, first time? Yes. And how was it? How it did you experience so it? It was so cool. Like, I felt like <laughs> I was in an aquarium. Like, no way. I could not believe it. Like, when you go under the water, uh -huh. you just see this. Um, like blue, yeah, blue is all the fish clear. And, 
There's just so many cool fish and wow. Well, it's, it's like, you know, I did that in Egypt. It wasn't like really? full 100 percent snorkeling. I didn't have a tank, but I had the goggles and the oh, little well, tube sticking out. Well yeah, that's what uh, well, that's what you guys did too. Because I want to go like yeah. diving diving, you know? Scuba diving. Oh no, it's scuba diving. Yeah, so yeah, snorkeling yeah. and scuba diving, two yeah. different things. My bad. But however, I went like that in I went snorkeling in Egypt. Really? Shamash hike. <laughs> and it's not to say that so much shake, sorry. Oh <laughs> but that went there. It was the same thing. Really? It was like I was swimming in an aquarium. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was like, dude, this is sweet. <laughs> what kind of animals did you see in the what kind of animals did you see under the water? Well, praise God I didn't see any sharks. Yeah. That's the only thing I was afraid of seeing. Yeah. Uh I don't know. I seen a lot of different fish, a lot of different color aquarium looking fish. That's yeah, one thing. Yeah. Uh, a lot of corals. And yeah. corals are super, they are super sharp because I literally swim up to one and I was like, huh, I wonder how sharp it is. And I just touched it and it was like, blood. Are you serious? Yeah, for real. I didn't oh know there was that sharp. I was like, you've got to be kidding me because you can't feel the, you know, the water. Yeah. It's kind of harder to feel. Yeah. But yeah, you could not take any corals or anything like that. But you know, it was a cool experience. I'd definitely like to go again and travel a little bit more. But Central America, i never been there. So. Okay. So, um, okay, how was it walking around, let's say if you'd walk around in the evenings by yourself, was it safe? Did you feel well, safe? Well, we stayed in this area. Where it's safe? Yeah. So, so okay. we, the place that we stayed at had like a fence around it and... Oh, wow, it's that, it's that way? It's, yeah. like, it's like that. It's like that, yeah. It's, it's like, like that. that. It's like that. <laughs> it's like that. Yeah. Um, but, so recently, or I don't know how long ago, they, in Belize, like they mm. took... A bunch of people that were in jail in I think it was Belize City I don't I'm not sure exactly but and they took a bunch of these people from jail and put him in Roaring Creek we were staying like in Roaring Creek oh, it's wow. like a little city called um, town and so that's kind of why they were a little bit um, concerned for our safety <laughs> you know? not bad I yeah mean, I'll be concerned because a bunch of yeah. Uh, people from jail or criminals. Yeah. yeah, we're released in that area. Rapist murderers. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> That's for exactly. Probably. Yeah. yeah. Wow. But it was. I felt safe. I mean, I, I'm. 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 You mean, I'm you're pretty sure that barbed wire around you, you compound. It was just. No, it was just the. It was just the gate, but we had a security guard no, walking cool. around at night, so. I'm pretty sure to get you guys taken care of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They they wouldn't let us there if they were not going. Yeah, of course. If right. we were going to be like super safe. <laughs> okay, that's cool. Yeah. So it sounds like overall you had an awesome trip. Yeah. That's good to hear. Yeah. Um, okay. So you'll be moving back to Asheville here shortly. Yeah. Also awesome. So you can be more here with me sometimes. Yeah. Once in a while. Yeah. This is you just helping me out right now. And I really appreciate you coming out um, and joining us. Sorry about that. Uh, but uh, it's very awesome to have you here. Thank and you. awesome thank you so much for taking your time to come out and sharing with us your trip i uh, you. hope you guys enjoyed and um also uh once again if you guys have not subscribed to my channel make sure to click the subscribe button and to like because that really helps me out on my videos so all right well i'm gonna conclude it there uh once again thank you for coming Thank awesome you to have you. Good me. seeing you. Yeah, and, uh, see. man, uh, dude, we gotta do something after the camera. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> but anyway, so you guys have a great day the rest of the day. Thank you for joining. Thank you for watching. See you guys on MK Tech News next Monday. Bye bye. Viewers, subscribe to my channel to see more of awesomeness. <laughs> you can also follow me on Facebook and Twitter.